What's up, y'all? Scotia? Of course, that's all. Coming at you with a kettlebell kind of turnstile. Give a single arm clean into a front lunge. Got it? All right, this is what happened. We want to work on the leg dominance. So you are going to lunge in with the weight the same size. So it's not going to be filling that gap. If you sit in the right hand, you're going to lunge forward with that right leg. So on this one, you're going to zip it up, zip it up. Get that clean. You want to make sure you keep it tight to your body. Elbows locked to that torso. Curl leg kind of go between your wrist and your shoulder. Once you're up there, you're going to step into a front lunge. Put that weight into the heel. Keep that torso tall, everything aligned. Drive up through that heel, activating that quad, hamstring and glute, and then reset the top. Go back into that clean, zip it up. Pop, and hit that front lunge, okay? Now, if you see members having the hips smacking yourself with the uh, kettlebell, a great tip you can, do, you can use is taking a towel, bring it right under your arm as you go in to that clean. If the arm come away from the body, that towel will fall. Now, you wanna focus on keeping the elbow locked into that torso as you hit that clean, bomb, bring it in, hit that front lunge, and then pop it back up. Any issues with the clean, you can always go into a bicep curl, bicep curl, into that front hold, Ah, hit that lunge forward and then come back up. We'll keep that kettlebell kind of there, don't stop. If you're not working with that front lunge, go into a reverse lunge. If that is too much pressure on your kneecap, driving forward. Know what you got? Good luck.